What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. Today for potentially, I don't know, maybe it's not a hot button topic. I, I was surprised by the results of this. About two weeks ago, uh, I ran a poll over on the YouTube community page. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, there's a YouTube community page. I do posts over there all the time, as well as on Twitter. And I run polls, you just throw up random things on there, cards, just all sorts of nonsense. But occasionally I fire up a poll and this one got almost 600 votes, 563 votes. And I, I kind of wasn't sure which way this was going to go. And this came up. The reason that I decided to run this was because I wanted, I was kind of curious to see where the community was at on it. And it was something I wanted to do a video on. I actually want to do this video sooner, but just got sidetracked to their content. This came up because CGC... Uh, the video game grading part of CGC was offering a cleaning service. Now, I don't know the details of it. I know nothing about grading video games. I don't know what does and does not fly in that space. That is not what this video is necessarily about. However, there are various industries where some type of cleaning is acceptable. We've talked about it a lot in comic books. Comic books you can, I'm going to use the term get away with, but you could do a lot more to prep a comic book for grading that is perfectly fine in the eyes of the grading companies than you can with cards. Hell, and this is where we're going with this, in comics, CGC, as an example, offers pressing services. You could send your comic book in, pay them a fee, and they will press it before they grade it. Now, I don't believe they offer full-blown cleaning services, but a lot of places do, and for the most part, most of that stuff is readily acceptable. Part of the reason for that, and we've talked about this in the past in other videos, is the grading companies have problems detecting if this stuff was done or not. So if you can't be 100% sure that an item was cleaned, then how are you supposed to catch it during grading? This goes back to, you know, when I had, I've talked to various graders about this. Uh, Peter at SGC commented on this in a video. How is the grader slash grading company supposed to catch this stuff if it doesn't exist on the card when they get it in their hand? If someone uses some sort of substance, let's say more than a uh, dry cloth, they use some sort of spray or a wax or whatever. If you put it on there, it does its thing you wipe it off, you send it in for grading, and it no longer exists on the surface of the card because it's been wiped off. It's a chrome card, it's shiny. That stuff comes off. How is the grading company supposed to catch that as an alteration? Now, there is a subsection of people that believe any sort of card cleaning is completely bad, wrong. Anything above a dry cloth is taboo. Perfectly fine. You're, you're more than willing to, to believe what you want to believe. A large portion of people, and polling backs this up, at least for my viewing audience, believes that some sort of card cleaning is okay. Whether that's, I always use like Kurt's Card Care as example. Like if you want to put a little wax on there, a little squirt squirt, or some juicy juice, whatever the case might be, wipe it down, get the scratches out, get, you know, give it a little buff, give it a little shine, make it look nice. Most people, once again, not everybody, but a lot of people feel like that is okay. So the question here was, if a grading company actually offered the services kind of like they do with comic book pressing, would you take advantage of it? Now, uh, to couple, let's get some precursors out of the way. The devil would obviously be in the details on this. You know, what exactly are they doing? In the example of the question, I use Kurt's card care level. So if you're not familiar with Kurt's card care or Mr. Minty or any of the other one of the card doctors out there, that do these card cleanings, uh, dent removals, the whole nine yards. But imagine that a grading company has card doctors on staff. And I'm not advocating for trimming or anything crazy like that. Strictly, you know, Kurt's card care level stuff. Just uh, nothing against Kurt one way or the other, but just that kind of style of, I don't even know if you want to call it restoration, cleaning, whatever. If someone offered that service, hey, send us your card, uh, we'll have our team of guys take a look at it, see what they could do with it, and then we will grade it, whatever the case might be. And like I said, devil would be in the details on this. You know, what are they doing? What are they not doing? I am sure 
you would probably have to sign a waiver or something that says, hey, there is a much higher likelihood that your card is damaged in this process and could potentially grade lower. Are you okay with that? Uh, because they're, you know, they're working on the card. Something could go sideways. It's just more likely to happen. If a company offered something like that, would you take advantage of it? And to be fair, I don't know if I ever see one of the big four currently offer anything like this. I don't see PSA, SGC, Beckett, or CGC ever doing this. I really don't. My thought here was this would be an interesting angle for one of the smaller companies that are trying to stand out from everybody else. What if they offered something like this? What if they went and hired a team of card doctors and said, hey, send to my mythical grading company. And let's say it's one that already exists. I won't use any names here because I don't want to associate anyone with this mythical thing that I'm completely making up. But insert three-letter acronym here that is not one of the big four, but you've probably heard of. You know, the list, there's probably at least five or six different three-letter companies out there that we have all heard of that just never really come up on the radar in regards to how we never really send them a card. But what if one of those three-letter companies started offering this service? Hey, send us your 86 Fleer Jordan with uh, a fingernail mark on the back or whatever. It's got an indent on the back. And for a nominal fee, we will see what we could do to get that out and then grade it for you. Or send us your uh, Trevor Lawrence Silver Prism that has a print line on it or scratches on the surface or heavier roller marks than normal. And we'll send it in for a spit and polish and see what she comes out as and see what it grades as. Once again, there's a lot of very gray areas that we're heading into here, but just my general consensus is once again, the data backs up, you know, 600 people, 563 people voted on this, that 66% would be willing to give it a whirl. 34% said no, and then there was some, some discussion in the comments. Now, I'm curious to see how this will go to a wider audience because more people view the videos than comment on the polls typically. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious for a more overall vibe. You know, this is just the vibe of the 560 some that saw this on the community tab. Would this be something you'd be willing to do? And then what types of things would you like to see if this service was offered? And once again, I'm just completely, this is just me being 100% curious because, uh, you know, as we've talked about a billion times, I dabble in the comic book side of things. And there are things in that world that are A-OK -okay that would never fly in sports cards as is. You know, if a comic book has a crease or a wrinkle or whatever, it is a thousand percent kosher to press that out. You put, put the comic under a hot press, press it out, and it'll flatten it out and make the pages nice and flat and crispy and hopefully you don't have any color breaks. And it is so kosher, in fact, that you could literally cut CGC a check, the grading company, to do it for you. If that happened in the card world, I don't know how people would take that. You know, would people, if this third-party grading company that is not one of the big four offered this service to clean cards and then grade them and they started coming back in tens or whatever their scale is, you know what people are going to do. They're going to send their cards off there, get them cleaned up, get them back, crack them and send them to PSA, Beckett, SGC, CGC, etc. to take advantage of the grade bump that the card potentially got. If it actually worked, I think a service like that could work out pretty well. I mean, I know a lot of the, the card cleaning people do offer services like that where you could just send to them, they'll clean it and you could submit it directly to one of the big four. But I'm talking something that's a little bit more on the, I guess we'll just say up and up for the lack of a better term. Just something that is more regimented, has better processes in place and is actually backed by a real legitimate company. Do you think something like this would ever fly? Or is just the immediate, is, is card cleaning slash doctoring too much of a hot button topic. But I understand this could be a spicy meatball for someone, so I'm kind of curious to see where folks comment down on it. If a grading company offered this, would you take advantage of it? Let's assume it's either built into the grading fee or you could pay an additional fee. Maybe it's, it's based off of the level of the card because of the insurance purposes or something, almost like a declared value. 
you know, if it's a thousand dollar card, it's 20 bucks. If it's a $5,000 card, it's a hundred bucks. I don't know. I don't know what the right number would be. And maybe it would depend on what you're having done. Maybe it's a case by case basis where you fill out a form and submit the card and they come back to you with a quote, almost like getting a car repaired. You know, you get some body damage on a car, you take it to the shop, they look it over, they piece it and part it out. And then they give you a quote with, Hey, I think this is what we can or can't do. And this is what the price would be for it. If a grading company had a card doctor on staff, would you visit their office hours? Yes, no, maybe. Should they? Is this something a grading company should do? Like I said, I don't think any of the big four ever do this, but it would be an interesting angle for one of the smaller pop-up companies to try to maybe separate themselves from everybody else. I don't know. As always, curious for your thoughts and comments down below. Catch your boys and girls on the next one. Peace.